Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your December 2019 tarot card reading. Thanks, guys, so much for being here. So let's dive into these cards and see what they have to say. Uh, the very first card that we get is your energy, specifically Cancer, which is the Queen of Wands. Now, I'm getting a really strong vibe of, like, problem solving. I don't know why. Like, let's let's solve this problem. Let's not dwell. Let's get over it, right? This is cardinal energy at its finest, which you are. You are a cardinal energy. And the cardinal aspect here is like trying to push forward. It's trying to make things happen. It's trying to start new things. It's trying to like, you know, not let the problems be the problems anymore. And the Queen of Wands is both a trailblazer and a bulldog. Like, well, if there's a problem in her way, not only is she going to plow through it, but she's going to sink her teeth into it and kind of just rip it to shreds a little bit too. She's not one to just sit back and let the problems resolve themselves, all right? Now, there are times for that. Definitely, there are times to relax, there are times to surrender and let the universe do the work. And I think between all the signs this month, it's really oscillating. So like some of the signs have that kind of message and then other signs are like, no, you really got to push forward. I think that has a lot to do with how this Jupiter transit, Jupiter coming into Capricorn is really hitting us you know, in our own individual charts. So you have to be compassionate that not everyone is in a place where they're going to want to attack that problem right now and they're not going to want to go after it. You know, your timing is just a little bit off or your, your harmony is a little disharmonious right now. And that's perfectly fine. But you can take care of your stuff. But when it comes to other people, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to involve them. I wouldn't try to bring them in. I wouldn't try to motivate them or inspire them to get their stuff done. Like if you're in the mood, that's for you. Okay. And that's all that really matters. You'll see why I'm saying that in just a moment. Now the environment in which you're in is the magician. So, I mean, this is the card of Aries. Okay. And this is the first card, like number one, which is like the number one Aries first sign of the Zodiac. So this whole like number one, take care of yourself, Aries, me kind of thing, not necessarily me and them, just me. It's all a theme for you, which is interesting because there are so many planets in your seventh house. So many planets. We've got Venus, Pluto, Saturn, North, no, excuse me, South Node, and Jupiter all in your seventh house, which tells me that that area of your life, relationships and partnerships will likely be expanding over the course of the next year. So your job now, the last little while, while the, the uh, North Node is finishing out its transit in your sign, is to just clean up all the loose ends that you have in your life. Now, the magician can set intentions. He can go out there, work his magic, do whatever he's got to do. So put that responsibility on your shoulders. I don't want to see my cancer sitting around and waiting for anybody to like come on board. It's really not the best time for cancer for you to be doing that. Uh, the In the nine card block, all right, which is like the spirit spread, um, your card, Cancer. There's movement here. There's movement, there's change, there's transition, there is acceleration for some of you. This could absolutely be in career, okay? It could be in changing location, moving, it could be in money, it could be in romance, you know? And I, I just think that you're empowered right now. You are truly, truly empowered and it's going to really bother you when people don't feel the same way. When people don't feel that motivated, when they don't feel like they want to change the problem, when they don't feel like it, because that's all you've got going on right now is like the feelings of ambition, the feelings of movement, the feelings of change. So, you know, the compassion aspect that not everyone is like you, not everyone is on your playing field, not everyone wants to play your game. All right. People who are dealing with a cancer right now, they might be a little bit um, hard to be working with because they're they're going to be pushing themselves so hard and in turn probably pushing you. Now, I'm not saying that you're like completely abandoning people or whatever. In fact, it's actually quite the opposite, which is why I kind of really went heavy on it in the first few minutes here, because the next couple cards that come out is very, very much 
focused on a person, all right? Could be a significant other, could be your boss, whatever it is. They do not share your cardinal energy. This person is fixed as fixed can be. This is fixed earth, which is like the slowest, highest density kind of person that there could be, all right? And it could just be a person that's going through this phase, but I think it really is driving you crazy, right? Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is wrought with anxiety and stress and, oh my God, like I can't stop thinking about it. What am I going to do and how am I going to fix it and da, 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 da. You know, there's just really not a lot you can do to fix it. The first step here is to just stop caring what this person thinks of you. If this is your significant other and there's a disagreement of some kind, I recommend, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I would recommend taking a beat, taking some time on your own, really like reeling yourself in and say, okay, well, what am I really expecting of this person? What am I expecting that's going to happen? What do I expect them to do? How do I expect them to make me feel? And then like really pile on that responsibility on your own shoulders. Hold yourself accountable for what's going on. Because this king of coins, I feel, is just simply not going to budge if they feel pressured. If they feel like someone is expecting something from them, they won't deliver. I don't know why I'm getting this sense of retaliation from this King of Coins, which is so bizarre because I never see that with the King of Coins, but it is. It's like he's retaliating uh, and purposely doing something, I don't know, ego, you know, it's because of his ego or just because he doesn't want to make uh, concessions or I don't even know. I, who am I to say? But he's got an attitude. He's got an attitude. And for someone with so much, you know, problem-solving energy, this person is not the problem that should be solved. Okay, this person is not the, per the, the right place for your energy because they're, they can be a sinkhole. All right, we've got the black throne, you know, and then we have the black of the swords, which black is an all absorbing thing. It's highly feminine, meaning it's just continually receiving all the time. And if you want to keep giving, 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 then by all means, fine. But if that's ex exhausting you, then you have to find a way to stop. Some of you, it might really be quitting your job because this boss can never be happy. For some of you, it's you know, letting your significant other just do what they got to do and you just kind of take a month or two, maybe just really not work together that much. You know, I don't know. I don't know what the solution is for you on that one um, other than focus on you. Focus on your stuff because, again, I'm seeing another cardinal energy coming out. I think this is you. I think this cardinal stuff, this attack stuff is 100% coming from you. All the energy is coming from you to a person or a situation. This doesn't have to be a person, I guess. I guess it could be a situation, all right? So this is just representative of something else. And Queen of <laughs> Queen of Wands just wants to like tackle it and go after it and just rah, like, let's get rid of it. Queen of Swords is a lot more diplomatic than that. She'll sit down, she'll talk to people, she'll figure out what they're feeling, where they're coming from, what's going on, what's the backstory. So you may actually kind of find yourself going from one approach to the extreme opposite approach, trying to find the right way, right? You, I think, are modifying your behavior to appease the situation. The fact of the matter is, though, Cancer, is that <laughs> that's just you trying to make someone else happy. That's just you, you know, that's, that's not authentic to who and what you are. Um, you changing your modality, you changing your way of being. Like I said, you can't expect this person to change in order to make you happy. So you have to just let them be. If they want to be fixed earth, just let them be fixed earth for right now. It's fine. So you, you need to find a way to stop caring so much because sometimes when we care so much, this is what happens. And it's like, well, how can I get so much stress and anxiety when I'm caring? I don't know, but it happens. It happens a lot. It happens all the time. So how much do you really want to care right now? If caring is not beneficial for the other party, because clearly it's not, clearly it's just kind of, 
you know, I kind of even getting this really smug look on his face. Like if you look at that card, I feel just like, ugh, like just kind of, it's just ricocheting. All your caring, all your energy is just ricocheting. So you have to pay attention to really what you're manifesting right now because you have the magician energy. And in the very center of the reading, we have the justice card, which I, for me is like the counterpart to the magician. We have the one of the magician and the 11 of the justice. So it's very much like me and me and them. Justice is the laws of the universe at play, right? He's the, the justice card is the governor of the laws of the universe. The magician is kind of a, a free reign, free will, I can kind of do what I want kind of energy. The justice is like, yeah, you can do whatever you want, but it has to abide by certain laws. So for example, if you send out a thought, careful, right? If you send out a thought, it's going to come back to you in some way, shape or form going to come back to you. It's going to manifest in reality. It's kind of even the balance between the inside world and the outside. It's the balance in all ways between the microcosm, the macrocosm, inside and outside, me and you, and all ways that you can twist that. That's what justice is, the balance between all aspects of the world. So if you are in a state of fighting, if you're in a state of caring too much, if you're in a state of anxiety and stress, it's just going to be amplified. So you have to be careful that you're not black magicking yourself, that you're not like making the problem worse because of your state of being. So in a way, I'm gonna skip around. You'll see when I put the camera down, I'm not gonna do these cards specifically in order. I kind of feel this Queen of Swords at one point, maybe it's during eclipses, which are coming up here real soon. I think the first solar eclipse is on the 26th. I didn't check the calendar, but I think it's the 26th, like day after Christmas. We have the um, the first eclipse of the season. And uh, I kind of see that after a push of Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, then the Knight of Coins reverse comes in and says, don't do it. Don't give. Put your weapon down, Queen of Swords. Put your weapon down. Stop trying to negotiate. Turn your back. Give people space. Because I don't see that Cancer is necessarily hugely at fault here, at least for the people who are watching. I know some people are going to be cross-watching and be like, hey, like, it's not all my fault. It's probably a really, really good idea that you're having space with your Cancer right now. <laughs> okay, uh... You're, you're in a state of disharmony, like the two of you, it's in a state of disharmony, and it needs time for the harmony to come back. Let's just, let's say it that way, okay? You're, you're operating on two completely different wavelengths. It will adjust the way the justice does, but, you know, you don't want it to be this gigantic backlash when it's trying to find balance or when it's counterbalancing. You know, if you go so far into the extreme of push, 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 then that rubber band effect is going to be really intense. So it's better to just cool off easily, put your weapons down, right, your expectations, hold on. I feel like I have to sneeze. <laughs> put your expectations down, your weapons down, your assumptions down, breathe, relax, stop trying. This is often a card of service. So when it's upside down, it's like, don't be of service to anybody. <laughs> it's okay. You can be selfish. You can, you know, give all that energy back to yourself. Uh, because ultimately what comes out right after that is the high priestess. And there's just this etheric, spiritual, guru, high level, high vibration that comes from the high priestess. I have a suspicion that this cancer is your intuition, your very, very strong moon ruled cancerian intuition that is unmatched by any other sign in the zodiac, um, that it is speaking to you, but you might not hear it because of this. You have to get rid of the noise. Or you do, you have to get rid of the noise. And when you get rid of the noise, everything will start to become clear. Because what might happen, and this is going to vary for all of you, what might happen is by taking the space that's needed, scaling it back, it's going to 
progress a different area of your life that is likely needing your attention that has not been getting your attention because there's been this Nine of Swords situation. I know you want to solve the problems. I know you want to fix it, but it's not your responsibility to fix this. Uh, life itself will fix this part of the story. Use your bulldog, trailblazer, cardinal energy right now in just another area. If there's trouble at home, spend more time at work because I suspect there will be huge progressions in that place. And maybe that's just simply what's needed. Maybe that's all that needs to happen. Don't worry, it will come into adjustment eventually, but cool it down, <laughs> cool it down. Like I said, otherwise that rubber band effect is gonna be like really painful. So now I'm, I know I skipped around a little bit. Right underneath the king of coins, there's other coin cards. Now, this king of coins is not a bad person, of course, he's not. I don't think he normally, or he or she, or the situation, I don't think it's normally like this, which is why I think it's a little disorienting, I think it's a little confusing, because maybe normally they're more like this. Maybe normally they match your cardinal energy, therefore you're like, oh my god, like I just, I legitimately don't understand what's happening with you. We'll clarify what's going on with the King of Coins in the comprehensive, so hopefully we'll get a little bit more insight into really where they're coming from. But if this person is given space to breathe and they don't feel like they have someone like breathing down their neck all day, they will budge. Eight of Coins is a very movement-oriented card, okay? It is a card of work. It is a card of change. It signifies progress. It signifies, you know, development. So by your cooling yourself off, by you kind of pulling this away, they will then slowly go to work and it's probably one of those situations it's just so like infuriating where you perhaps offer them advice and they're like no 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 i'm not going to do it it's not right it's not for me i don't like it but then they'll eventually do it anyway <laughs> as long as it feels like their idea they'll do it and that's what i think this is is something is like okay they've come around or they're about to come around and they'll, they'll, they'll start to see that you were right. They'll start to see that what you were pushing for, you know, was probably in their best interest to begin with. Again, it's super annoying because you're just like, oh my God, like, I know, like, why did you spend so much time? Why are you, you know, it is what it is. And sometimes there is an ego at play and sometimes there are inner dialogues that we just simply don't know or don't understand. Now, the very last card, it's kind of as though this king of coins needs to get themselves to this nine of coins place, which you would think that they already are there. That's probably something too that's a little disorienting because you're like, you're already at the nine of coins. You're a king of coins. Like, obviously you're already there. You already have the value. You already have the knowledge. You have the skill. You have X, Y, and Z. So what is it? You thought you didn't have it? Or like, I don't get it. And I don't think you will. I think the harder you try to understand it, the less close to understanding you'll be. So you have to just say, I don't get it and just move on. When they step into their nine of coins, which I think you're already there, or that's kind of what you're gonna be doing is working to get yourself to a nine of coins. So when two people come together or two entities or whatever come together, both at a nine of coins place where I've got my stuff taken care of, you've got your stuff taken care of, we're both good, so now we can work together in harmony properly. Okay, we can work together in harmony properly. So it's not some kind of, you know, codependent sort of situation. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be a lover, you guys. It really, really, really can be a boss. It really can be a friend, a neighbor, an HOA president who's like a nightmare. I don't care what it is, but it's it's coming to a close, it's coming to a resolution, and therefore you can relax, all right? Let's go ahead and put the camera down and we'll pull the clarifiers, all right? See you in a sec. Okay, Cancer, let's use the Psychic Tarot deck to get a few more insights 
into the Queen of Wands energy specifically, which is you. A few more insights into your energy, your whole vibe here. Let's see. Fulfillment of wishes. See, Queen of Wands has this, like, I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get what I want. I'm going to go make it happen. And the Nine of Wishes, which is very similar, I think, to uh, the Nine of Coins a little bit. It's just like, it's going to happen. And you know it, which is why this anchor over here is just that. It's just an anchor. It's your tether, and it's really holding you back. If you want something, you have to go for it yourself. You have to make it yourself. you got to finish out this North Node in Cancer transit right, right? To work on that alignment, to work on the path. Make sure you're on the path, whatever that means, <laughs> the path. Um, to make sure that you feel good about what you're doing with your life. All right, because maybe there is an aspect of some Cancerians of like being really, and maybe this isn't for the people watching for yourself. Maybe this is cross watching for a more un under evolved or immature Cancer. You know, maybe this whole Nine of Swords is like a projection of like, well, I feel inadequate and I don't feel like I can go make my own wishes happen. Therefore, you have to make my wishes happen for me. Maybe that's the dialogue for some of you. You know, and you're sitting here as the king of coins and being like, no, like, I'm not going to make your wishes come true. I'm not going to do it. And therefore, it kind of is going to smack back on them as a rubber band effect the more and more they push their stuff on you. So maybe that's, you know, very, very possible for a lot of you. And you got to make sure that you are in charge of your own dreams the observer. Yeah. I mean, so I'm going to go back to the original story, which was, you know, that this maybe indicates another person. So the king of coins, it's not good to be hands-on with them, but rather to be an observer here, rather to be a quiet fly on the wall, rather than an active participant in the room. Take yourself out of the dialogue. All right. Take yourself out. Focus on your Queen of Wands stuff. Focus on your projects, even if it's like cleaning your house. Like, do it. Go out to the garage, get rid of all the old stuff, sweep, you know, go to the garden, do the weeding. Well, I mean, it's wintertime now. <laughs> Never mind. Don't do that. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Okay, so Queen of Wands. Let's take a little bit more of a look at the Queen of Wands here. For those of you who are new to my channel, the cards I'm about to pull out, we're going to talk about in the comprehensive, which will be listed in the description box down below. We usually talk for another 20 to 25 minutes in that reading. So, okay, Death Reverse, Ten of Coins Reversed, Queen of Cups. That's you, right? Definitely you're coming out Queen energy for sure, for sure. Chariot. Let's take a look here. I think that Six of Cups has a lot to do with your the, the node, the North Node. I like that Seven of Cups, weirdly enough. Normally it can represent confusion and stuff, but right now I'm seeing it as a card of creativity. I'm seeing it as a card of imagination and you know, it's it's adults that walk along the path. <laughs> Maybe that's why I kind of second guessed myself when I said the path. Maybe it's not really about the path. It's adults and people who are operating in boxes that walk along the path. Maybe now it's time for you to step off the path and find the little alleyways and the little secret hidden from view doorways and little gates and crevices, you know, kind of like in a childlike fashion here. Interesting. Not as bad. Not as bad as I may have thought. Okay. The reason why this person or thing is being so stubborn is there's an emotional tie to something that they don't want to let go of. Because jumping on to the next thing means a loss. And that's how they're viewing it. They're viewing it as a loss. They themselves have a Nine of Swords thing that's pointing to something unseen. What is it pointing at? Let's see. Inadequacy. Instability. 
fear of not performing, a fear of... It's not so much a fear of failure. I don't think I would say that. Um, I would say more of a fear of... how other people see them. Mm-hmm. This King of Coins is like, see, it's all gonna come around. Two of Cups, it's all gonna come around. It's gonna work out. The conversation will be had. We know how stubborn a king of coins can be, right? That's kind of a card of Taurus. We know how they can be. So it's probably a really good idea to um, not necessarily be as stubborn as them <laughs> in your cardinal self. Because sometimes, you know, a, a mutable person can be really stubborn in their mutability. A cardinal person can be really stubborn in their, their cardinal nature. So be sure that you're not matching their stubbornness in your own methodology. Like you think you're being all this fixer, but you're being just as stubborn in that. So just, just be, ca be cautious. Beautiful, amazing. Let's do one more, okay. Nine of, so nine of coins, oh, nine of cups, very similar to this card here. Fulfillment of wishes. Beautiful. See, this experience is going to afford you an opportunity to really see yourself in a different way. And it's a good thing. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands, which is a highly optimistic energy. So let's go ahead and we'll turn the camera off. I wish you guys absolutely nothing but the best. Have an excellent holiday. And I will see you shortly when we enter into Capricorn season. Thanks so much. Take care.